Hi guys, today I'm going to do the end of year book tag which I was tagged by the lovely bookish hamster here on YouTube and I had already planned on doing this so this just worked out perfectly. This tag is originally created by Ariel Bissett so I'm going to leave her link for her original video down below and let's just get on with it. So the first question is any books that you need to finish by the end of the year that you've started. So for me, I've got two here that I'm sort of in the middle of that I would love to have finished by the end of the year. I think I can do it. They're quite short books. So one is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I am actually annotating my copy. So I'd like to finish that one by the end of the year, as well as Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. I think I'll be able to finish this quite soon. Um, but I definitely want to finish this one because I'd love to read another Agatha Christie by the end of 2018. So the next question actually doesn't fit for Australians and that's actually an autumnal book that you're planning to carry over into the winter season. It ain't winter here. It is the hot summer, which I am so happy about. Not. I, I don't really know if there's any books I want to carry over into the next probably because I've started the trilogy I may as well continue this on and that's the Maradira trilogy so I'll probably start reading the evolution of Maradira Dyer, Dyer, I can't say it anytime I mention this book series I can't say your name but I'll probably follow this one along into 2019 and finish that off so I guess that's the book that I'm going to carry along a sequel that hasn't come out yet that you are waiting for and I'm filming this at the end of November so I only have one more week to wait and that is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. I cannot wait for this conclusion to the Dark Artifices. I will be reading it on ebook or audio simply because I've read the whole Dark Artifices on ebook and audio and I'm waiting for the covers with the like the sketches on the side to come out in Australia before I purchase them but I cannot wait for this one. I'm so excited. I've been reading The Ghost of the Shadow Market to pump me up and I'm just I'm really excited for this conclusion. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> I can feel it now. It's gonna kill me but I am here for it. So the next question is, is there a book that has shocked you and has become a favourite of the year? And actually, I don't have my copy here yet. It's actually on its way. I ordered it finally. Um, my answer for this one is Heretics Anonymous because, oh my god, I didn't think I was going to love this book as much as I did. It hit home so well with me because I did go through Catholic school and I'm not Catholic personally. Um, so it was a very different experience for me being a non-Catholic in a very regimented Catholic system um, and I really felt for these characters and just everything about this book just sat really well with me when it came to actually representing the a Catholic schooling system. It just it hit the nail on the head so much. The next question is three books to try and read by the end of the year and I don't know which three I want to choose because I have too many like always. Alrighty, um, hmm. you can see this all behind me. This all needs to get read. Majority of all this needs to get read. Look this collection has been growing for like four years. Give me a break. <laughs> um, I have a few that I want to read, so let's find some. Well, all right, I chose three. <laughs> so the three books that I've chosen that I would love to read by the end of the year is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I have the first two in this trilogy, so I can just get right into the next one. And I'd love to read some Victoria slash V.E. Schwab by the end of the year. I've never read anything by her, so I'm really looking forward to it. I've watched a couple of her interviews and like like author tube videos and I really like her so I'm hoping I'm gonna really blend well with her writing. I've started this book and I still remember what I read so far so I'm just gonna continue it. My bookmark's still in it um, but I really want to finish this book and that's actually Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foody. I'm 65 pages in so I'm at, uh, not a, too far of the way in but a decent little chunk of information has been given and I was really liking it so far, but then I hit Sarah J Massville and went through all of that. So that's why I haven't gotten back to this one, but I would love to read this by the end of the year. This is probably another book that I need to finish by the end of the year. So this adds into question one. 
And then another book that I'd love to read that was a new release this year that's gotten so much hype and I'm already anticipating the, the like the next book in the series and I haven't even read this one besides like the first like five paper pages maybe when I was waiting to get my nails done and that's Children of Blood and I still have my receipt in it. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. I'm excited for this one. I'm really looking forward to reading a different style of fantasy and um, it's yeah I'm all right and the last question of this one's any reading goals for 2019 and I think my main reading goal is to gonna try to read more contemporary books I own quite a lot of them and or even historical fiction just try and step out of the fantasy genre for a little bit um, but I love fantasy too much so I can't stop but that's definitely something that I'm looking forward to try and read and yeah, I think that's my main goal and I made my main reading goal of reading 50 books this year so I might bump it up to 75 for next year and see if I can do that. But yeah, I know this is a short video but sometimes they're good ones. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel. I feel so cringy in saying that but please do. It would mean a lot if you joined my booktube community. I will leave all my links to everything down below as well as all the books mentioned. I'll have their Goodreads pages down below as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for a new video soon. Bye!